What's up everybody, Dylan here with another Theme Park Obsession update and I'm back at Universal Studios today. So let's go ahead and go inside the park and check out what's going on this week. All right, so we're not even gonna hesitate. We're just gonna go right into the construction and see what's going on here in the upper lot. You know, I still don't get why this is open. Oh my goodness, chair down. I just don't know what's going on here because it's really cold and I don't know if that many people really wanna go in the water. All right, so you can see with this rumored Super Nintendo project, uh, uh, not too much has changed since the last video, but they are continuing to work on it, uh, which is really nice. That means they're working around the clock just to get this project up and going. And it looks like right now they're just laying some foundation work, some piping, uh, drilling some holes for you know the possible show buildings for the attractions. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty big space and it looks like that's about as big as it's gonna get. Slowly but surely they are moving along with this project and uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what they do in the next couple weeks to see if we see some uh, structural steel go up for the big show buildings or if they just continue to do some foundation work but yeah I'll keep you guys updated. See so, yeah, how with Jurassic World they continue to enclose that big portion outside which you can see right over there and rumor has it that uh, we're gonna be seeing some 8k projections in that section of the ride and probably throughout as well as some uh, next generation animatronics. I don't really see anything else over here that's changed. It's just, it's just this right over here that's kind of seeing most of the work. And it is a lot of work. They're gonna, that's actually a pretty big building, especially when you go on the studio tour and see uh, how large it actually is from ground level. And then as far as the scaffolding goes, they haven't started any painting on this side. Um, we'll, probably check the other side though because I think they have on the other side of the building but at least from this vantage point it looks like they haven't um, started any painting yet but you can see right here though they have put down a test color so it looks like this building is going to be a gray or maybe even a, a darker charcoal gray when they're done but yeah that's a little test paint right there all right let's go over towards Despicable Me and check up on the rumored uh, Secret Life of Pets attraction so yeah we have these two um there are actually four pieces of structural steel that are up that haven't really changed since the last video. And also over this construction wall, there are some what looks to be track pieces for the attraction. Don't really know what kind of attraction it's gonna be and it's still rumored to be that uh, Secret Life of Pets. Universal hasn't made any announcements on anything yet. So in the coming months, We'll see if they do make an announcement as to what this attraction is going to be. But it looks like they're laying down some track pieces that are elevated off the ground, which looks pretty interesting. So yeah, it's going to be a dark ride. It looks to be, but I don't know if it's going to be screen based or it's going to be 3D or uh, we're actually going to see some animatronics. So it'll be interesting to see over the next couple months what it plays out to be. Before we head downstairs to check up on Jurassic World, uh, let's go ahead and check out some Grinchmas stuff and see who's here today. <laughs> Alright, so how's it going? Dude! Stu! We're on the movies! Bro! You're missing your chance! We're on the movies! Oh, ah! Hey! Morning, like Stu! And I'm like Drew! the coolest dude on the flight! By relation to Mine is too. Drew! We don't care about Drew. Only me. Stu. Hey, hey how's dude. it going? I'm Drew. Hey, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Where'd the camera go, man? See? This is dude. why you can't be his friend. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, dude! I can do that. I don't know, man. I got, I got, I got sidetracked by all the fame, man. Dude. Hey, my name's Stu, and I'm Drew, and I'm the better one, and I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. And I'm Betty Lou, Who, and I forgot all my decorations. I'm here with my dear friend Michael. Michael, my dear friend Michael. Michael, what's the most impressive thing you've seen today? The most impressive thing, probably the tree. That's a wrong answer. Yeah, Michael, that is you were supposed answer. to see me. Yeah, yeah, that was a very clear. We set that up for success, but yeah, and then you failed miserably. Let's yeah. try that. Take, okay. take, 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 take two, take two, take two, take two. Michael, what's the most impressive thing you've seen today? Most impressive thing. <laughs> Michael, what's the most impressive thing you've seen today? <laughs> wait, wait. Jones reporting live for Who's on Four. And I'm Betty Lou Who, son of a snowflake. We're here with our good friend Michael. Michael. Michael! Michael, tell me, what's the most impressive thing you've seen today in Whoville? Miss Betty Lou! <gasps> Thank you, Michael! That wasn't preconceived. 
achieved at all. No, that didn't take four tries. Nope, not at all. We nailed it. I Thanks know. to it you in the studio. Are we getting good? Are we getting good reception? Static, right. static. Tell me when we can see static it. Here. Can we yeah. see it? All right, let's go to the lower lot now to check up on the paint on the other side of the Jurassic World building and uh, see if they did anything down the lagoon. So yeah, just more work on some uh, piping that's going in for the plumbing and uh, maybe some foundation for some future show buildings. And uh, yeah, nothing too crazy going on this week. Maybe in the next couple of weeks. I'm, I'm assuming probably by the start of the new year, we're going to start seeing some major construction. Now yeah, we have new paints on this side and it looks to be that dark gray. Well, at least it's, this is like a lighter gray over here and then closer towards that drop uh, is like a more like a charcoal gray, like a dark gray. So more fitting towards the brand because the Jurassic World scheme is blue and gray. So yeah, it looks nice. And I'm sure they're not even close to being finished. They'll probably put like one more coat on it and then call it a day. You can see right here that that is the final color, at least it looks to be the final color, which is that nice dark charcoal gray. And then up closer is probably just uh, the base coat or the, um, the primer. But yeah, that looks nice. I actually do like the gray. It looks a lot better than the, the pinkish color that used to be there. So yeah, old color, new color. I like it. it. looks really nice. And then as far as the lagoon goes, it doesn't look like anything has really changed down here and the lagoon for the final drop. But we do have a white bucket. Now that I'm looking at the track some more, does it look like they repainted the track, like that dark green? I don't know, can someone comment down below to see if uh, they have repainted that? Because it looks to me that, that it looks like it has a fresh cone of paint on it. So as far as work in the lower lot, that's all that's really going on down here, just Jurassic World and that project next to Transformers. Um, so yeah, nothing really changed too visibly besides the paint job on Jurassic Wor uh, World this week. Uh, just on a side note, does anyone else think that a Trolls Dark Ride would be really cool here at Universal Studios? I've, like, ever since the movie came out, I'm like, that would make a perfect dark ride. and It'd be great for the kids. It'd be so colorful and all those cool characters they would have in that ride. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, they should do it. All right, so before Michael and I head over to City Walk to check up on the construction there, let's go ahead and get a different angle of that project that's going on right next to Walking Dead and Despicable Me. So yeah, you can see right there that looks to be some track pieces going in. There's a section over here on the left, and then over here on the right, there's a whole other section as well. So I don't know how big this attraction is going to be in the interior, but um, yeah, and it looks like it's going to be multi-level, which is nice. And as far as these track pieces go, I don't know if the, it's going to be on top of this steel right now, or if this is just like, it's going to be like a hanging kind of attraction. Don't really know, but um, for sure it's going to be a dark ride. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a mix of 3D technology with other with animatronics uh, or projections, but I guess we'll find out in the next year or so when this is probably going to be open. All right, so let's go over to City Walk and check up on Antijito's Mexican restaurant. <laughs> So it looks like they've covered uh, the top of the, where the fountain is and the, all the outside seating for the restaurant. And that's probably just because they're getting ready for paint. So it looks like they're really working hard on the interior. All right, so we checked up on the rumored Secret Life of Pets project and the rumored Super Nintendo project happening at Universal Studios. Again, these are all just rumors until Universal says something officially, which will probably be in the next probably few months, I would say, but yeah. Work is going on really, really fast with these two projects, and it looks like they want to get up and going uh, just in time for all the new attractions opening up elsewhere uh, in the country. So it'll be a nice little draw to the park, and I can't wait to see all these finished attractions, especially Jurassic World. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and yeah, that show building down there is getting really, really big. So it's going to be cool to see the final product on that too. So yeah, tons of work happening here at Universal Studios, and I'm sure that they're not going to stop after all these are done. I'm sure they're going to continue to improve Universal Studios Hollywood because, I mean, yeah, it's, it's great. They're putting in some great attractions. All right, so I think that's going to do it for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. I have videos every single week from Universal Studios, Disneyland, and of course, Six Flags and Magic Mountain. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time in the parks. Bye.